Right, let's talk about dental implants. Dental implants uh, have become a very, very important uh, treatment option that we have to our disposal today. Uh, it has become the number one choice, uh, arguably, uh, for replacing missing teeth. Um, of course, it's not the only option that we have available. Of course, we have bridges and we have false teeth to our disposal, but I think arguably in the long term, you know, if you can get these treatments right, I think, I think they are the number one option for replacing missing teeth. Dental implants have come a long way. Uh, we understand they're better today uh, than, than we used to before. Um, you know, for instance, they've become much smaller. The surgical procedures have become simpler. Um, the restorative capabilities, in other words, whatever you're gonna put on top of this implant in the end, uh, have changed a lot over the years. We understand it better. The planning, uh, the, the digital aspect that we've brought to treating these, these types of uh, treatments uh, and these, these implants have changed so much over the years. So we, we, it beca it's become more predictable. Uh, it's become shorter term for healing. Uh, and we really understand them a lot better than we, than we used to. There are many options on the on the market today. Many types of implants. Uh, the, the the actual composition, uh, what they're made of, uh, the types of materials, you know, and there are many options on the market. Uh, and so, therefore, I think it's again uh, very important to understand exactly uh, every patient's individual scenario and what type of implant you're going to want to use. And then, of course, more important than that, what type of restoration are you going to put on top of it? You know, will it be a removable appliance that cl clicks into this implant? Will it be a fixed prosthesis? Um, you know, what is the future going to hold for that patient? How will the bite forces and the distribution of these forces actually impact the success rate? You know, how good is the bone? How how good is the gum and everything around these implants are very very important aspects to understand and, and the patient again needs to understand what will come for the future and what are the options available. I think the two most important aspects however for implants today and, and what we do understand about it uh, is first of all the fact that uh, you know implants are not necessarily going to be forever. Um, you know, uh, we, when, when we started off with implants, we thought that it was going to be a perfect solution, you know, for just replacing teeth. Uh, uh, or it can actually be stand in for, for, for good natural teeth. And this is not the case. So first of all, it is not necessarily forever, depending, of course, on your age and at what stage you will be getting them um, and how good the distribution of forces is. Many factors will influence this, but arguably and possibly it might not be forever. And then second of all, it is a replacement for natural teeth and I think this is essential in other words we need to fight for our natural teeth first I think I think implants are a wonderful solution once there is no more option available for the tooth and the tooth have become hopeless and it's irrestorable uh, irreversible damage um, and then the implant treatment should then kick in uh, with the proper planning with the proper uh, team involved, the proper people involved, sure, and these things can be very successful, but they are definitely not a replacement for natural teeth, uh, and this is important to understand.